Welcome to Drill Down Earnings. We have the latest quarterly results from Applied Materials. I like to think of them as a mat. At least I do. I'm Corey Johnson, the Chief Market Strategist for the Futurum Group. Let's look at the business news behind this stock on the move. And the stock is moving in after hours trading. They reported Q3 earnings. They were good. Wall Street likes to say beat or miss, and this was a beat, but let's look at the business, what it actually did. $6.78 billion in revenues. That's a 5% on an annual basis. Uh, and good margins, uh, almost 28.7% uh, margins for this business, uh, better than they've done in sometimes in the past. Uh, and things are going in the right direction. Growth is happening again. Um, when we look at their business, their, their revenue growth has returned. 5% isn't huge, but the direction of the revenue growth has been very positive uh, for this company. And their operating margins have been pretty good too, at 29% operating margins. That's really nice in such a big business uh, that's doing, you know, like I said, all nearly $7 billion in revenues. Um, now, when we look a little bit deeper into what their business is, so they sell this equipment to make semiconductors, obviously. Um, and their equipment sales were were down, um, not even flat, but really down uh, across the board. But when you look at, at everything that they sell, so their services business, the systems that they sell, the adjacent markets that they're in, those are all growing kind of nicely. And the real dramatic story here is the DRAM business. So DRAM was fantastic in the last couple of quarters uh, and the growth rate on a year over year basis down uh, uh, or as a percentage of their business, however you want to look at it, was not as huge as it was last quarter. It was still really big, really strong growth in DRAM and a lot of that into China. And so that's a concern. That's something I'm certainly watching is about, about the concerns about what kind of semiconductors China is allowed to make and the businesses they're, they're flexing into. Should they make cutting edge semiconductors? Well, we know they can't do that because of export controls from Europe and from the US. Um, but furthermore, what does it mean for foundational chips like DRAM that are the, that are really the, 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 the heavy workers in the world of, of semiconductors? And should China be allowed to dominate there? The concerns about that going forward, you wanna look for that when you see the sales of semiconductor equipment and what that might mean if those slow down. So after the numbers came out, and we did see that the China business and the DRAM business is growing at a slower rate, uh, the stock sold off a little bit, about down about 4% in after hours trading, but it's a 50% in the last year. So, you know, what are you whining about? The stock's been fantastic. During the conference call, both the CEO and the CFO, Bryce Hill, were asked about what was going on in China, how much of it was DRAM, how much of it was Internet of Things and now automobiles and so on, uh, well, for which they have some kind of positive comments. And well, here's what uh, CFO Bryce Hill had to say about the China business and how important DRAM was to the China business. The 32% is almost no DRAM uh, to China. So you, you've got it right. Our business mix to China declined to 32%. And if I think back in time, just to uh, remind everybody, if we go just over a year back, it was you know like 17% mixed to China. We were having supply chain issues, so it was uh, very low at that point. In the last three quarters, we bounced up to the mid 40s. Well, we served the DRAM that we could ship, and that's the prior three quarters. And we feel this quarter, 32% uh, is probably normal for us, or in the normal range for us. Uh, that's across our entire business for shipments uh, to China. And what it really represents is ICAPs. And the ICAPs market, you know, in total has been very robust. We think it'll be a record year in our fiscal year for ICAPs. And China also, you know, we would call it robust. There's, we're adding customers, utilizations are improving. It's a, you know, wide variety of products and factories. So, you know, we think that market is uh, robust both in Q3 and in Q4. So this was their, their fiscal third quarter they just reported. So for, he's saying Q3 and Q4, I don't know, it sounds like he's talking about calendar quarters. This growth rate has a while to go in China with DRAM. All right, what's it all mean? What's your big takeaway on the applied materials earnings? I've got that and your drill down earnings bite right after this. The drill down is brought to you by Futurum Group, where analysts, researchers, advisors, content creators, and marketing experts help business leaders anticipate and understand shifts in their industries and build strategies to leverage disruptive innovation. With deep analysis, Futurum Group's extensive industry experience delivers reliable research and data, thought leadership, and actionable advice to help you with your strategy and go-to-market efforts. Futurum Group. So here's your essential drill down summary on applied materials third quarter, fiscal third quarter earnings. Uh, $6.78 billion in revenues up 5%. That's good. Operating margin of 21.7%. That's good. But what was really interesting in the quarter, the number I want you to remember is 
the DRAM business, selling the machines that make DRAM, was 41% uh, uh, grower in the quarter. Uh, while that was less than last quarter, uh, it was still super strong. The company says that's going to continue for at least a few more quarters to come. All right, thanks for listening to Drill Down Earnings. Check us out on uh, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok, and all the socials. Uh, Drill Down Earnings, part of 6.5 Media.